Today, we're going to restore this iMac M1 to factory settings. The process is very easy and anyone can do it. Before we start, there are two important things that you need. The first one, internet access. And the second one, you need to know your iCloud password. You won't be able to complete the restoration if you don't know your iCloud password. You can get stuck in the middle of the process, so it's important to know the password. Now, the first step is to back up your data because all of the files, documents, videos, apps, everything will be deleted. Remember, we're about to do a factory reset, which means that your computer will be back to its original factory settings. Okay, now that you're ready, click on the Apple icon and shut down your computer. Next, find the power button and press and hold until you see this on the screen. Keep pressing and soon you will see these two options, Macintosh HD and Options. Select Options and click Continue. Select your admin user. In this case, I have only one admin account. Click on it and type in your login password. We are now in the recovery window. Select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Select the main volume of your computer, which is the first one on the top. Next, click on Erase. You can change the name of the volume. I don't usually change it. I'm going to leave it as Macintosh HD. The recommended format is APFS. Advanced users can choose one of the other options, but for beginners, I recommend to leave it as APFS. Click Erase. This message is to remind you that you're about to delete everything on your computer. Click Erase Mac. The system wants to make sure that you are 100% sure that you want to delete everything on it and restore the system. Yes, we are sure. Click on Erase Mac and restart. The computer will turn off and restart. If you have wireless Apple keyboard, mouse, or trackpad, you will see this message after it restarts. All you have to do is to turn them off and back on again. The next step is to activate your Mac. To do this, you need to connect to the internet. You can use a local ethernet connection or Wi-Fi. Choose your network and type in the password. The next screen is the most important. Here is where it asks for your Apple ID. If you don't know the password of the Apple ID that was previously used with this Mac, you won't be able to proceed with the next steps. It's important to know that you won't be able to use a different Apple ID. It has to be the same ID that was used before. Type your password and exit the recovery window. Okay, now select reinstall macOS and click continue. In most of the cases, your computer will download an older version of the OS. You will have to update it after the restoration has been completed. I will show you how to do it in a minute. Agree to the terms, select your primary disk and continue. Now you need to wait to download. This could take up to two or three hours, all depends on your internet speed. Mine said that it was going to take two hours and 55 minutes, but it finished in 18 minutes. Now this is the last part. It's time to configure your computer. Follow the instructions until you get to the home screen. You are not done yet. Click on the Apple icon and about this Mac. As you can see, I am running Ventura 13.6. This is not the latest OS X version. Before you start installing apps and transferring all of your data, you need to update it. Click on more info, general and software updates. Follow the instructions and wait until it finishes the update. We are officially done. You have successfully restored your iMac to factory settings. You are amazing if you made it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.